Hi there, I'm David, and today we're going to talk about conspiracy theories! Oh god! Well, the main one we're going to touch on today is the reptilian theory, but to go into that we're going to have to do some deep diving and a little bit of history on the topic. But first up, I'm going to touch on a few other conspiracy theories to kind of build up to it. There are a few things in our history that we have done and accomplished that were absolutely amazing, one of which being the moon landing. You'd be surprised to hear, if you are not a doubter of the moon landing, that there are literally millions of people who believe the moon landing was staged or fake. The reason that they cite typically is that the flag was standing up and moving. Well, there are two things to take note of here, one of which is that the flag was made out of aluminum foil. Aluminum foil! You can't take something made of cloth up into space and expect it to perform very well and to stay there for a very long time as cloth degrades very easily over time, whereas something like aluminum foil is going to have a longer shelf life. Now mind you, you're going to hold up this aluminum foil with some sticks and some other things and the weight is not going to be evenly distributed, so it's probably going to wiggle a little bit. Now mind you, there are different forces in different atmospheric pressures and different uh, planets, moons, etc such as the spin of an object, even if the moon is tidally locked to our planet, there's still going to be some movement of the very low pressure atmosphere. So while it might not be enough to account for the wiggle that happened on the flag in the video, there are definitely other physical explanations to explain this phenomenon. There are also many people who believe that the Earth is flat, and there are a lot of them. You'd be completely surprised and shocked to learn how many people believe the Earth is flat. Well, they believe this because certain people in positions of authority with high level of responsibility uh, and mind you, you might not think that a celebrity is a person of authority, but they do have a lot of authority when it comes to society as a whole. So when somebody is in a very high position or stature, amongst others, people look to them as a role model to base their ideas, mentality, and other things off of. And this person has a lot of reach with their voice. Well, the flat earth theory is no different here in this case, whereas you yourself, if you were to take the time to build a weathered balloon and to send it up into the stratosphere, way, way up, you would easily see the curvature of the Earth. Now, if you don't believe me, hop into an airplane, fly from New York to Texas, and you'll also be able to visibly see this here. Now, this was even calculated hundreds and hundreds of years ago by mathematicians just by looking at different positions from different angles and being able to detect the curvature of the Earth mathematically, before computers, before calculators, all with an abacus and everything else. Now, the next one I'd like to talk about is the Black Knight satellite. The Black Knight satellite conspiracy theory is a conspiracy theory in which Nikola Tesla himself, the great scientist in mind that is revered today, had heard a transmission that seemed to have come from space, but was most likely a reflection from the ionosphere of a signal going up and back down. Now, if you study anything about various radio technologies, you would understand that a shorter wave is going to hit the ionosphere and either disperse or completely reflect, and part of it will go out as well, of course. It just depends on the strength and the length of the wave. The Black Knight satellite was given further credence when other scientists around the world seemed to detect the same thing, and apparently they had narrowed it down to being an object within a polar orbit, but this information seems to have come from nowhere at the same time, something manufactured. Now, there are a lot of photos out there of something in space that was near a shuttle or the space station at the time, which turned out to be a thermal blanket. And if you don't believe me, you can actually find a thermal blanket in Google, Google Images and find out for yourself. You can buy one, put it on your floor and move it around, hold it up, and see it's pretty much the same thing. Let's get started on our reptilian alien theory. Roswell, New Mexico gave rise to a lot of people coming out saying that they had been abducted by aliens, most of which were citing stories of gray aliens, which are commonly known on the internet as greys. Happy reading. And there was one in particular of a Herbert Shermer who came out with a story that he was having strange visions and flashbacks and dreams, who then visited a hypnotherapist. Herbert Shermer was a police officer. I can't remember which state at the time, but you could take a look at the name. When he went to the hypnotherapist, he was put under, and he said that he was abducted by lizard people, which gave further credence to the ideas of the previous authors and the previous stories, and in comes a man called David Icke. David Icke had written a book uh, quite some time ago, and it was something called The Biggest Secret, if I'm not mistaken. So The Biggest Secret uh, outlined this concept of an Illuminati that was run by a genetically hybrid group of lizard people that were living amongst us and were consuming our fear and our negative emotions. 
Some of the people that are named on this list inside of the book and since then include Lady, Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, Donald Rumsfeld, the Rothschilds, Merovingian Dynasty, Dick Cheney, of course, Dick Cheney, British Royal Family, uh, let's see, Angelina Jolie, Sir Edward Richard George Heath, Hillary Clinton, the Bush Family, Barack Obama, Elon Musk, Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, and plenty more. While David Icke had put out this information, there was also other information he was writing on, such as the document called The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion, which was produced in about 1909 in Russia as a form of propaganda against the Jewish population, which was then printed by Henry Ford's paper, or weekly newspaper. Uh, there were about 500,000 copies printed at the time, which then Henry Ford had to go back and it took seven years to completely retract that information. This document, The Learned Protocols of the Elders of Zion, was later used by Nazi Germany as propaganda inside of schools, even before the Nazi party really even took effect. So, this document was plagiarized from several sources, one of which being a book which referenced an imaginary discussion between two philosophers during the time of the Napoleonic era. So it was a book speaking about the regime or the government of Napoleon III. There were plenty of other sources that were pulled from, but that is one of the primary ones. Go ahead and check it out. There's a problem here that ends up coming up very soon after is that after this idea got traction, there were running jokes within different communities and people between friends, and there was an individual named Lucas Davenport, who meant no harm. He was voting for senator, I believe, uh, but he didn't like any of the candidates, and his original choice for sarcastic purposes was to put down revolution as his write-in vote. But instead, he put lizard people, which then got media attention all over the nation, which then pushed more people towards researching what David Icke had to say, and the media talking about it in the open. And sometimes when we have a bad idea, we probably shouldn't publicize it too much. Because in 2020, Christmas, there was an individual named Anthony Warner, who the only evidence for what he did was linked to packages that were sent to his friends and family that were quite strange, and including a variety of concepts uh, in his house and from personal conversations that, which he allegedly had previously uh, citing that he was a very big believer in the reptilian aliens. He was the individual who bombed the AT&T facility in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, there were two factors to this. It's possible that he may have thought that there was some form of conspiracy going on or he may have been specifically targeting the NSA hub within the facility. So while there is a lot of anti-Semitism mixed in with the reptilian theory and the Illuminati idea that the reptilians had created hybrid beings to live amongst humans, uh, the idea concerning this, how they hide, is that they either shapeshift or they wear a hologram to hide their true appearance. And let's talk about some of the signs that are listed online how to identify a reptilian. Let's see. <clears throat> Number one, reptilian eyes. Number two, flickering hologram. Number three, uh, they have scales of some form. Uh, psoriasis could be probably confused with this. Uh, an extra vertebrae. Uh, let's see here, low blood pressure, low body temperature. Able to shape shift. Um, I think most of us do that around Thanksgiving time. Good eyesight or good hearing. Good genetics be danged. So, uh, lack of empathy. Uh, good luck sociopaths. Let's see here. They don't seem to belong to the human race. They have red hair. Watch out, gingers. Unexplained scars or stretch marks. Bodybuilders, beware. Too interested in space. Sensitive to light. I think everybody's sensitive to light, especially when they're drunk. And having a positive blood type. That's a pretty interesting list, which encapsulates pretty much everybody, for the most part. One of the key central figures to this entire conspiracy theory is something as the Rothschild family, which is notorious throughout our history for being blamed or having done some terrible things, such as when the War of 1812 was won by Britain, a writer for the Rothschilds was supposedly uh, the first one back and said the British lost, so then they sold pretty much everything. But if this is true, it's not really well documented in my experience of trying to research this to understand it to present it to you. A few other of the signs that were listed online that I had found was one of the La Resurrection statue. Uh, we'll put it on the screen here. So 
uh, it was a statue of Jesus on an atomic apocalypse, and there was another one listed of rounded architecture. So modern architecture and pretty much the whole of Dubai must be run by reptilians. Who would have known? While we can make a lot of connections from point A to point B on a variety of topics, we need to maintain a subjectivity while reading and looking at different information. Make sure that when you are reading information, you also look at the opposing argument or something that is talking about disproving it. It can be about anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. I wish that I could inspire you to be sure that you are taking a look at things objectively, no matter what they are. Things such as this reptilian theory are dangerous to our society. Insane with flat earth theory. Flat Earth theory could end up damaging our ability to fund space travel and maybe even our colonization of Mars if it were to become exponentially larger than it is today. The Black Knight satellite theory could be dangerous for a myriad of reasons, such as people believing in aliens that were benevolent and maybe someday a race of aliens comes and visits us but all they do is enslave us. Or the moon landing being fake and not believing in our history or being proud of what we have accomplished as a species. If we take these things away from ourselves or we believe in things in a way that is not subjective, we pose a great risk to our society at large. For example, even though Anthony Warner had died alone, he was the only person who was killed in that situation in 2020, it's still a very dangerous consequence if it really was linked to the idea or theory of reptilians being among us. So, I hope that I have inspired you to take a look at things in a subjective manner, and I wish you all a beautiful day. Don't forget to check out other videos, subscribe, like, share, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.